In this problem, Klein asks us to draw the structure of the product that's formed when the structure shown is treated first with phenylmagnesium bromide and secondly with aqueous acid. Now it's just fine to write the sequential conditions that are shown here. It's a convenient shortcut, but I want you to think about these steps one at a time. If I could only teach you one thing in an entire semester, it would be learn to think simply one step at a time. So let me rewrite this where we look at the individual steps sequentially. First, we'll look at the product that's formed when phenylmagnesium bromide reacts with this ketone. And secondly, we'll see what happens when that initial product is treated with aqueous acid. Keep in mind that pH stands for phenyl. We can write that as C6H5 or the aromatic ring with the bonds showing right there. In this case, magnesium is attached to that bond. Now remember, in this Grignard reagent, we have a carbon-magnesium covalent bond, but the Grignard reagent itself acts as if it were a negatively charged carbon, a nucleophile. So I'll write it that way. And that nucleophile adds to the carbon of the carbonyl group because it has a partial positive charge. And the pair of those electrons, the pi electrons, swing up on oxygen. So in the initial product, we have a new carbon-carbon bond and we have an alkoxide as the functional group. Let's see what happens when we treat this with acid. Well, alkoxides are strong bases, so in the presence of acid, they're protonated. The pair of electrons represented by this negative charge is protonated. And this pair of electrons ends up on oxygen. We form a neutral molecule of water. And the product is an alcohol. But wait, we have an acetal group here. Acetals are made by treating ketones or aldehydes with alcohol in the presence of acid and removing water. And acetals are cleaved in the reverse reaction by treating with aqueous acid. The acetal oxygens are replaced by a carbonyl group. So as we continue to answer the question of what is the final product, we need to remember that this aqueous acid will cleave this acetal to form a carbonyl compound. And the final product then will be an alcohol, where we have a new carbon-carbon bond, and a ketone, where initially we had the acetal functionality. Putting this all together, the acetal ketone is treated with a Grignard reagent that acts as a nucleophile. It forms a carbon-carbon bond and makes an alkoxide in an initial step. In the second step, first we protonate the alkoxide in a very rapid proton transfer reaction, and secondly, in an equilibrium process that cleaves the acetal, we generate the ketone carbonyl. 